Hey guys, it's back again. Um, today I'm going to have a crack at the front guard of the R100 um, using the OEM guard. I've repainted the, the brace, you've probably seen, in the armour black. I'm not sure what sort of finish I'm going to go on the guard yet. We'll get it all cut up first and then see what's going to look the best. So I'll show you my thoughts. So before we go any further, I just want to show the the bin carbines. I've got them all mounted up now, which will look a bloody trick. I'm pretty stoked about these. The um, black filter is just a cheapy. I'm thinking I'm going to change them over maybe with the DNA. I was looking at the ones with the leather back on them, the orange, just to give a little bit more of a pop for the calipers. But um, I'll wait until the tanks come back from colour. That's out for paint at the moment. And then we'll see what's going to look the best. Now, as for the guard, as you can see, I've armor blacked the, um, the brace up in behind there. This is the OEM guard, so I've got the laser out again. Because I'm thinking, virtually, if I go start of the guard in the center line of the actual axle um, here, and that gives me about, I think it's 190 mil or so from there. Okay, from there back to the actual center of the fork line is about 190 so thinking 190 to there and then probably another 190 down making 380 we'll see how that looks so my thoughts are i'm just going to amputate the end off it back here somewhere i'll sit that piece back up replicate this front curve just cut it with a, a grinder and then um, finish it up with a file and sand it uh, do the other end and then we'll sit it up there and see how it looks once I'm all happy with everything then we'll think of colors All right, so here we go So I've marked the cut points far enough back that I can still pick up the full angle of this once I transfer it back up That's my front point that I'm going to get to so I've got plenty of meat there center point rear point uh, I've got my trusty little grinder one of my favorite tools this little Milwaukee 12 volt grinder and some protection because we know how bad fiberglass can be. Let's go. All right, so we'll keep this marked as the front and a bit of a vac up just to get rid of all that fiberglass then so from here we shall transfer the new marks up okay so from here i think i'm going to mount this back up and just see how these curves look before I go for the big chop. So that took quite a bit of time to get right. Um, I've got the, the back marked. It's actually a different, bit of a different curve on the back. I tried it on the front, but it just doesn't look right. I think the, the nicer, thinner taper for the front looks better. So I've got the two marked now. Um, I realized in the end, I didn't know why I couldn't get it right, but this OEM, you can, I don't know if you can pick it up, but on one side it actually, it does taper away sharper than the other side, so that was sort of doing my head in. Um, but anyway, I got the calipers out and fixed that and I've got my line straight. So now, for the nervous part, I'm going for the real cut. So I'll cut pretty close to this line. Um, Give it a test fit and then we'll be cleaning it up and shaping it properly with a bit of uh, sandpaper and so forth. Uh, wish me luck. All right, that went pretty well. So I shall test fit this baby back up again now. See what I've come out with and then do the final shaping. So I've got to say I'm pretty happy. Um, you can see from my line there, I still got to take a, a little bit out of this to bring this line down better. But overall, I think it's about the right size. 
um, lining up with the axle nicely, lines up through the center nicely. I think that is pretty much it. This side here, as you can see, I sort of followed that line a bit nicer. So I reckon this side's just about right. Um, I'll give it a bit more of a shape with some um, sandpaper now. And then we'll get under colour in the next session. So here we have our guys. Um, I've shaped up the edges. Test fit of it. I think it looks pretty damn good. Pretty happy with that. So that's pretty much it for part one. Next, I'll um, work out how to finish it. I'm actually thinking of maybe skinning this in carbon fibre, um, doing a vacuum skin on it. So that'll be later down the track. But for now, at least I'm happy with the actual fit of it. While I was playing around with it, I've actually realised that the rear of that fender actually fits quite nice on the rear wheel. So it's pretty much the perfect size for it. If I could get that propped up sitting nice and tight to the actual tyre, it could actually work. I've still got to try and work out a rear fender for this thing because Australian ADR rules state that we have to have a guard 15 degrees past the rear axle which is probably about where that's sitting now. So if I was to buy another front fender, I'm thinking run it down, cut it flat at the back here and make up a bracket to come off the swing arm. Um, so it'd sort of be sitting something like this, coming over the top and then just floating above the rear wheel. Could look pretty cool. So from one little project, another one has just sort of popped into my head um, so I might have a look and see how hard it is to buy a front fender for these babies and that could be next just while I'm here too guys I wanted to do a shout out to just a few guys that I follow on YouTube that have been a great help um, Corner Customs done a couple of R's he's in the current uh, R build at the moment so Corner Custom CJAD awesome bloke uh, got Ben 820 um, Ben's been a great help here on Insta. Um, you've got Dan from Cafe Racer Garage. He's a bloody, he's right up there. He's got all the toys that anyone could dream of. Um, Jack's Garage, Jace, another good one with uh, blogs and so forth. Who else we got? Mike, Bay City, Bay City Restorations, Killer R80. Um, He's, he's helped quite a lot. This front guard is sort of modelled off what he's done. So yeah, check him out guys. I'm only new to this scene, but they're, um, they're a lot bigger. Got a lot more info, um, ones to follow. Ciao for now.